Hello, and welcome to this video for Physics 132, which discusses one last piece of information that we need for our course, which involves the combinations of optical path length and the idea of reflection. To fully understand what we're talking about, we need a little bit of a setup. So imagine two pieces of glass that almost touch with just the tiniest gap of air between them. So here on the right, you can see the setup. We have a curved piece of glass resting on top of a flat piece of glass. And we're interested in this point right here in the middle where they touch. And we're gonna assume that they're basically touching with just a tiny little bit of air between. Now let's add in two light rays. The first one in gold bounces off the inner surface of the curved glass. So it comes in and bounces off the inner surface of the curved glass. The next one in red comes in and bounces off of the flat surface of the bottom glass. Since the two path lengths aren't equal, the glasses are in contact, we expect a point of constructive interference at the point where the two pieces of glass touch. So there should be a bright spot here. However, when we actually do the experiment, we actually see a dark spot in the resulting pattern where two pieces of glass touch. We'll talk more about these rings in class. The key part you need is we actually get destructive interference at this point where the two pieces of glass touch, which is not what we would expect given that their two path lengths are the same. So why is this going on? We expect a point of constructive interference, but we observe destructive interference. The reason is, is that when light in a low end medium is reflecting off of a high end medium, that light comes back upside down. So what comes in as a peak goes out as a trough, shown here in the third picture. The incoming light is at a peak and the outgoing light is a trough. Why this happens is beyond the scope of this class, but you can see that if I come in with a peak and go out as a trough, that's effectively adding one half of a wavelength to the optical path. So going back to our example, what's going on here in the middle, on the other hand, light that is in a medium where it travels slowly, bouncing off a material in which it would move more quickly, there is no phase change. So I don't add half a wavelength. And of course, if the media are the same on both sides, there is no reflection. So what does this mean for our little example here? Why do we get this little dark spot? So the gold rays are in the glass trying to go in the air when they reflect. In the glass, the light moves slowly. And so upon reflection, there is no phase change. Whereas for the red, it is in the air, because remember there's a tiny sliver of air between these two pieces of glass, and is bouncing off of the flat surface. So there is an additional half wavelength added to the optical path length. So the difference between these two paths is actually one half of a wavelength, and so we get destructive interference. This concludes this video.